the future of mental health has to go beyond the mental, right? It has to have a deep recognition that as beings, we are not just in our brains, but that we are, we are these organisms and that most of what happens is actually below the neck. So I think what psychedelics are helping to do is open up an awareness of the importance of somatics, uh, the importance of full body, and to realize that there's a dis- deep, deep connection between what happens in our brain and what happens in our gut, right? What happens in our brain and what happens in our heart. And so I think at that, that, that I think is stop number one. I think beyond that, then is, as I alluded to before, how can mental health, how can healthcare in general just become a lot more personalized? Uh, and how can it focus, especially here in the United States, how can it be a lot more human centric rather than product centric? Right. So focusing on the being with, focusing on the community, focusing on the connection. I think a lot of the challenges and issues that we are confronted with uh, within our own health and physiology is, again, the sense of disconnection, the sense of isolation, the sense of not being in community, the sense of not being in nature. Right. So how can we orient more towards things that bring full vitality, uh, full vitality? In terms of how that will pan out, then you know MDMA is will be approved for PTSD uh, next year uh, through clinical trials. It's just completed phase three; they're now doing the the final stuff. Psilocybin will be approved for treatment resistant depression and major depressive order by 2024, 2025. As I mentioned earlier, Colorado uh, has legalized psilocybin. Oregon is now has fully legal psilocybin. California, there are a number of other states that are looking at that. So I think very rapidly most of the Western world will have legal access to psychedelics within the next 10 years, um, all things considered. And then in terms of, in terms of the approach that, that we're taking and sort of the programs and training, my flag I've always rooted in non-clinical, non-medical use of psychedelics. How can psychedelics help us to go from baseline to the, the sort of self-actualization or fullest capacity uh, uh, of who we are as a human? Hey, this is Ari, and if you enjoyed this little clip, I highly recommend checking out the full-length podcast by clicking the link down below this video in the description. Check it out. You're going to learn a ton more valuable information. Also, as always, I want to mention at the Energy Blueprint, we offer a ton of solutions to help you increase your energy and as a side effect, help you prevent disease, dramatically improve your brain function, your mood, combating anxiety and depression, increasing your resilience to stress, and increasing your longevity. All nice bonuses to strategies designed to massively increase your mitochondrial function and your energy levels. And we've got a whole suite of products, uh, online info products that guide you on strategies to optimize your lifestyle and nutrition habits. Uh, We've got an eat for energy course. We've got a brain course. We've got an advanced fat loss strategies course. We've got a breathing for energy course, which I highly, highly recommend. Uh, People just absolutely rave about that one in particular. And we've got a whole suite of supplements, uh, mitochondrial formula, a brain formula, energy essentials and superfoods, which is our comprehensive multivitamin and multimineral and superfoods formula. So Thank you for watching this. Again, full length uh, link to the full length podcast is down below. And uh, check out the energyblueprint.com for our whole suite of products that can help you dramatically transform your energy levels.